Hey you guys, this is Pablo and he is a really nice, super nice gilding. Um, he's nine years old. He is a nine year old ranch gilding. He's been used for heading, healing, and they've breakawayed and they have roped some calves on him. They said he's just a little bit big for calf roping, but he has been headed and healed off of and he has been breakawayed off of a bunch. Um, this is probably one of the very nicest horses you'll see on this place. Uh, man, I like him. So Pablo is going to be perfect for somebody if you're looking for a racetrack pony horse. He's pretty forward moving. Um, I've had Pablo probably 60 days. Will you stand him on the road? I want to show him. When I bought this horse, he had gotten hurt. And we have doctored him and we've gotten him sound. Turn him around right here so they can see. This horse had cut the outside of this foot. Hi! He's like, you got cookies? And at some point in his life, he's got a little scar right here, but it, that doesn't bother him. That's old. That was here when he came. That is healed. Go ahead, go ride him again. And I'm telling y'all what, I've never been so thankful that we did not can one that came in crippled. Because that has healed up. And if you guys look right here, with a set of shoes, this is going to be the soundest thing you own. The man that sold this horse at the sale said that he had bought him at a ranch horse sale. And they gave a lot of money for this horse. I mean, they gave a lot for this horse. $12,000. And he is just as nice and gentle and perfect as we could ever want one but that scar is still healing and so you're going to get a phenomenal deal on a ranch horse right here so there isn't a better horse anywhere this horse has not been ridden in probably 60 days and she caught him and i told her make i did tell her make sure you kind of jip him around lunge him around just because we don't know him. He hadn't been ridden in 60 days. He's been getting alfalfa. I mean, look how good this horse looks. He's been getting alfalfa and grain twice a day. He's fed up. And let me tell you something. He had no buck. He, ha he didn't offer even the slightest bit. So he's going to be really good for somebody. And I think with a set of shoes, that foot is going to come around and be just fine. Now, he did. It was, it was cut kind of as bad as I'd seen something and infected when he got here and we gave him antibiotics and we got him over it and now look at him right there trot so I've never been so thankful that I did not can one that I thought that we could heal up because he has healed up and I am proud to show him to you today right there stop him real big the more you ride him he's really warming back up into how broke he is he just I mean I'm telling y'all, this is a $12,000 horse. There's not anybody on Facebook that would sell y'all this horse any cheaper. But I'm so thankful that we just, that we took the time and decided to heal this foot up. I know, he's pretty badass. She said, if y'all don't want him, she'll take him home. Will you lope him and then stop him one more time? I just want him to see that he'll lope off. And once you get him stopped, he'll walk off after that. Right there. Lope some little circles. There's holes right there. You can tell he was like, excuse me, there's holes right through here. There's right there, you can stop him. Oh, and he's warming up to a bigger stop too, the more you've asked him. The bit that we use, oh, I, I love that too. She said she loves how he breaks at the pole when she backs him up. So here's the thing about this horse. Um, the bit that he has in his mouth is nothing. I mean, it is a bigger bigger as big as my thumb or bigger mouthpiece and so this horse warming up and really wanting to stop harder and harder that's a bit that doesn't force him to respect it a horse can really kind of push through that bit it's not much and this horse is just just perfect so you guys this right here is his name is pablo and he is just nine years old I'll go ahead and show you his teeth i mean he's nine for sure he was a qha registered but because they sold him they did not offer the papers to him. Um, and you can see he still has that nine-year-old dip on the back of that tooth right there where he's going to be probably turning 10 next year. He is not on the website yet. It takes me getting home and getting on the computer at night to upside, uh, uh, upside down that. I don't know what I, I don't know to update that. <laughs> I told 
Jacob I needed a little ass for a birthday present and he found me one. And I don't think that's what I meant that I needed. I didn't, I didn't mean that. That's not the kind of ass I needed. <laughs> that sounds terrible. That's not the kind of ass I needed for my birthday. <laughs> it is. He said he found me one. And he said it's a little one. It's perfect. Uh, it's a nuisance. Anyway, this horse is registered. Like I said, I did not get the papers to him because when they sold him, again, there's his brand. When they sold this horse to me, he was crippled. And this right here was busted open, infected, oozing pus, nasty as you've ever seen. He's now completely healed up. We're going to keep staying on top of that. I think with a set of shoes, you have that $12,000 horse back for a minimal fraction of the price. So he's been standing eating free choice alfalfa. He's been getting fed twice a day. Gina feeds him. And y'all can see you're not going to find a better horse. So this is Pablo. And he is a nine-year-old ranch horse. And he's pretty much for anybody. I, Like I said, she she did probably let you lunge him two or three circles each direction. He never did hump up with the saddle. We just knew he's been standing for six. When you have one standing around for two months, you want to make sure you don't get somebody bucked off. And he's had absolutely no bucks. So we're pretty excited we didn't can this horse. And I'm excited we put the money into him. And um, he's the main reason I had to have a little help with Murphy. <laughs> I had decided to kind of put some back and Murphy's back there and he needed Osphos. We'll probably get Murphy today and video him too. So this is Pablo and um, he will be on the website.